Now, obviously, technology has played a huge part in the evolution of the automobile. If you don't believe me, you know, check out the new GT500. It's a 760 horsepower car that will run tens, and you can drive it anywhere with a killer sound system and air-conditioned seats. The area we're going to get today, though, is going to be automotive lighting. Now, a lot of people forget about the lighting, but it's a very, very popular thing to upgrade on your car. But today's cars have amazing factory lights. You know, it hasn't always been that way. So today we're going to take a look at the history of automotive lighting. Now, we're talking about automotive headlights. Obviously, technology has changed greatly over the years. But let's go back to, like, the birth of the automobile, talking about, like, the late 1800s. There was no electricity even in cars back then, so your headlight options were pretty limited. Now, most of them would use basic stuff like even a candle or maybe a kerosene lamp. But those lights weren't meant really to light up the road. They were meant so you could actually see the car coming in the other direction. It wasn't until the use of an acetylene and oil combination called carbide that we had gas-powered headlights. Those used reflectors and actually had some good output. But that technology was designed more for mining or stuff like that. So they weren't the best lights because they were very unreliable. And if they got wet, they were basically all but useless. It really wasn't until the late 1800s into the early 1900s that electricity became in a car. And that's when headlights really started taking off. So if you were gas acetylene headlamps, you went to a very crude electric light and then finally to the sealed beam headlights that are still used in many cars today. Now, obviously they're not used in new production cars, but there's plenty of cars on the road that still use a sealed beam light. Now, sealed beam light is basically only gonna come in four sizes back in the day. You had your seven inch round, your five and three quarter round, and you had a four by six and a five by seven. So basically any automobile being built was going to have one of those four sizes and it was that way for a long, long time. That's why when you look at classic cars, a lot of them all look kind of the same when it comes to the lighting because they all were very strict and government even required them to all use the same size lighting. Now your sealed beam headlight is basically going to use a tungsten filament. It gets power to it, which causes it to glow and there's a reflector in the back and that produces light output. And again, these were used in four sizes and that technology did not change for a long time. At one point though, eventually the seal beam got upgraded and that was to a halogen bulb. Now when they went to a halogen bulb, the bulb in there was a lot brighter, produced a lot more light output, but it was still a sealed beam light. Which meant it was still gonna be in this glass case and it was still disposable. So if the bulb went bad, these were not serviceable. You would replace the entire headlight. So before we start talking about the next generation of headlights, let's talk about upgrades that are available if you are still running a car that had a sealed beam headlight. Now you can see here, here is your standard sealed beam. This is a incandescent, basically a direct replacement for your factory light. Your upgrade, which again was factory in many cars starting in the 60s, would be the halogen bulb. Again, you can see it's not serviceable. The plug is basically the same style plug. And again, it would have to be completely replaced. Now you've got modern housing with this one shown here. This is the popular seven inch size, but this has a replaceable H4 bulb in it. So again, you can use a modern bulb that is replaceable. So when the lights go bad, you can just replace the bulb. You don't have to replace the entire housing. Now even more modern options are like this light here. This is gonna be a plug and play replacement, again, for your factory lighting, but this is gonna be an LED headlight. As you can see, it's a completely self-contained light. This one would obviously have to be completely replaced, so we're kind of going back a little bit, but you're getting LED lighting. LED lights will last a lot longer than your standard seal beam. And again, these are a plug and play replacement. So starting in 1983, the laws changed and you didn't have to use a sealed beam light anymore. Now you could use a composite headlight, which is what's shown here. Now this is a Fox Body Mustang headlight, but the composite headlight allowed for a whole new world of designs in modern cars because now you had a replaceable bulb and you could build the housing any way you wanted to. And for the first time, the styling of the headlight became part of the car. You weren't limited to just four options. You could design this any way you wanted to as long as that light output and would fit a bulb. And again, these had replaceable bulbs. You would simply go in the back and you could pop the bulb out and simply replace it when necessary. So again, it wasn't like a sealed beam where we had to replace an entire light assembly. Now you could replace the bulbs in the housing, which again, opened up all kinds of options for automotive designers. So with the introduction of composite housing, like again, you could style the vehicle now and make the headlights look how you wanted to, but it also allowed for more upgrades as far as the headlight went. Now again, most of these are gonna be a halogen bulb, which was used from the 60s and is still used today, but there are different headlight bulbs available. The first one is gonna be a high intensity discharge or an HID. Now instead of a halogen gas, it uses a xenon gas, 
and they are way brighter than a halogen and also way more efficient. Now, the first HID used in a modern car was in 1991 in the BMW, and it found its way into the Mustang in 2008 and stayed that way through 2017. Now, they have a very, very distinguished lightish blue kind of light, but they have different temperatures for HID that give different light output. We can always tell an HID versus a halogen, again, from that sharp white blue light that halogen just won't give you. Now getting into modern lighting, most of the modern cars today, there are some that still use halogen bulbs, but most of them are using LED. The reason being is the light emitting diodes can be very, very small and have tremendous light output and they're very efficient. This is the factory headlight from a 2018 through 2023 Mustang. And again, these are complete housings with LEDs inside. Now the LED is a very aimable light, so it doesn't glare as bad as some other lights do, but it's also extremely bright and extremely efficient and it lasts a long time. Now, a lot of these modern LEDs are not serviceable. So again, you have an entire housing to replace instead of a bulb, which kind of goes back again to a sealed beam, but an LED for the most part will outlive the car. Again, they're very, very efficient and very, very bright. Now, like I said before too, LEDs are normal in cars today, but there are tons of retrofit kits available for your early Mustangs. So what is the future of headlights? Well, we're gonna have to wait and see. I mean, obviously LEDs are very efficient. They're here to stay for a while because they work and they get the job done, but the future could be in the laser lighting. And I'm talking about laser beams, but actual laser emitting diodes. And the BMW i8 actually has laser headlights. Now it's three blue beams that are combined to one beam and then it goes through a prism and then a refractor where it turns white and is aimed at the road. Now these are even brighter and more efficient than LEDs, but the focus of the beam is not quite locked in yet. So right now they're more for off-road or very exotic use, but again, that could be the future of lighting. So down here in Hershey at the AACA Museum, and if you're ever in the area, I definitely recommend checking this museum out. The collection's insane, but they happen to have this killer display of lighting that has everything from candle power through acetylene all the way to modern LED. We'll actually take you through the lights and show you how they all look. We'll start off with an example of late 1800s candle power. and then progression to early 1900 kerosene. And now here's your acetylene carbide. And then early electric. Now here you have the sealed beams in both a seven inch and a five inch. We'll start with the low beam on the seven. And then high beam. And then here's the five inch and the high beam. Now here's your composite housing. Again, these started in 1983. These will be HID projector. Now here's your modern LED projector with adaptive high beam. Now while halogen sealed beam is a nice upgrade over an incandescent, and many vehicles in the 60s had them, LEDs are gonna be even better. And there's a lot of lights like this Holly Retro Bright that give you all the looks of your classic vintage headlight, but with LED output. Now, I mentioned that Ford changed to LED in 2018. That was for the GT and EcoBoost. The Shelbys still use the 15 through 17. So here's an example of an HID headlight. As you can see, extremely bright, little bit of a blue tint and a very, very focused light output. Now here's an example of a modern LED headlight. Now your light output's gonna look very similar to the HID. The LEDs are just way more efficient, way easier to package and last longer as well. Now it's almost like a movie to say lighting has gone from candle power to laser power, but the technology is there and lighting is doing nothing but advance, just like everything else on an automobile. Now where will lighting go? Well, you know, we're just gonna have to wait and see, but lighting is still a very, very popular upgrade for many owners. If you have a classic Mustang, upgrading the LED lighting, there's a ton of benefits beyond just how much better it looks on the car, being able to see and be seen is definitely a huge thing with the classic car. And if you're looking for lighting options for your Mustang, Bronco, or any other vehicle, definitely check out cjponyparts.com.